Hi there, and welcome to another video of Copycat with Cables. My name's Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be showing you how to recreate the loading screen from Splinter Cell Blacklist. So I'm just going to go to this YouTube video here and press play. Um, Splinter Cell is one of my favorite games of all time. I love stealth action games, and I've played it since the first one in the series. And Blacklist, I loved so much. And they have this really amazing loading screen with this transition from one image to another with this kind of like pixelated uh, look. And I thought this would be really cool to recreate this inside of Cables. So this is what we're going to try and recreate today inside of Cables. So Ubisoft, please, please, please be sweet if you see these images. It's uh, all in the name of uh, good fun and uh, free publicity. So... Let's go here to main loop. And we're now going to make a sequence op. So first of all, I want to see both of the images. So I'm first going to make an image compose op. And then I'm going to attach a draw image. And I'm now going to go to views files. And I'm going to say here, upload file. Um, I'm going to go to this. And then um, there we go. And I'm just going to upload these two images. As you can see, they're uploading there. Great. So I'm going to pull this one in and this one in. So I'm just going to call this one image one. I'm going to call this one image two. So I'm going to grab the texture output and I'm going to plug that into here. We don't see anything yet because we're not rendering to anything. So I'm going to make a full screen rectangle. I'm going to plug that in there. Cool. We've got an image. So I want to be able to see both of them. So I'll make another draw image and I'm going to plug in image two. Image two is overriding um, image one. If we pull down a mount, as you can see, we can fade from one image to the other. So this is the basic thing I want to recreate. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a sign um, anim. And as you can see, this outputs numbers from minus one to one. You can go here and see the shape that I'm getting. So I'm going to use this to make a kind of crossfade between the two. So I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to grab a map range up. I'm going to say old minimum minus one, old max one. And I want to just remap it from zero to one. So let's like relabel this 0 to 1. Uh, I want to have another one which goes in reverse. So new minimum 1, new max 0. So I'm now going to plug this in here. So this one I'm going to plug into a mount here. And this one I'm going to plug into a mount there. And now we get this basic fade from one screen to another. Cool. So, uh, so far so good. Now we need to kind of like make that pixelated effect in the grid that we saw. So I'm just going to disconnect this for now. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab an image compose op. And we're going to grab one of my favorite operators, pixel noise. Um, that's it. So let's just plug this into there. There we go. So um, it was 18 by 10 squares in the original loading screen. And we need to get that like kind of like um, morphing effect. So I'm going to grab timer two, and I'm going to plug that into Z. And we get this a bit too fast, but put the time on 0 0.2. Great. So we've got this right now. So um, how can we use this to make that transition effect, right? So let's plug the original image stuff back in. So we have here image alpha. So I'm going to plug that into image alpha and with this one into image alpha. Now the alpha output of pixel noise is one. So if we click draw our image, we can see that the alpha source is alpha channel. We can turn it to luminance and do that with the second one. And then all of a sudden we see that this texture here is now having an effect on what's happening over there. It's like changing the opacity. Okay, so, so far so good. The problem is we never see like a full screen. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to add a color op. Um, and as you can now see, our texture is just completely white. That's because uh, this is a normal mode. So now I'm going to turn this to add. And if we pull this down, you can see the, the texture appears there. So this is a kind of way to 
make like a, um, a swap between the pixelated look or the non-pixelated look. So I'm now gonna uh, copy this sign anim and the remap range. And you know what? I'm gonna grab a value. Uh, and this is gonna be frequency, it's on one right now. And I'm gonna plug it into here with frequency. This guy expects a trigger. And I'm just gonna divide this one by two. Okay. And we're now going to get this one, which is now operating at a different speed, and we're going to plug it into a mount. And voila, we get this full screen effect, but we get the pixelated look when it goes from one image to the other. Okay, that's pretty cool. So far, so good. So now we need to get a kind of grid. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say um, render to texture. And... The render to texture is now going to go into uh, an orthogonal op because I don't want this grid I'm going to make to be affected by the camera uh, view. I'm going to plug this into a scale XYZ. And last but not least, I'm going to get a grid op. Um, now, just to show you what's going on, I'll disconnect this and I'll plug this in here. Let's just label this grid. Uh, render to texture. Okay, so I'm going to put the amount of uh, grid spaces to 18. And now I need to like make it max uh, match up with the pixel noise stuff. So I'm just going to very quickly make a very temporary channel just so I can get this stuff aligned. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to make an image compose. Draw image. Just make a bit more space here, and I'm going to make another draw image. So in the first one, I'm going to add um, our pixel noise. Let's just label it quick. This is just so I can like match the two up. And then I'm going to get the grid, and I'm going to plug this in here. I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to plug this in. So let's now put this down. Look, there's the pixel noise. There's the grid. So one thing I'm kind of missing right now I see is a way to color this. So I'm going to make the grid have a basic material and I'm going to just make it kind of greeny for now. So if I now pull this down, I've got a way of like seeing do they add up. So I'm going to click on scale X, Y, Z and I'm going to put this one on 0.22 and this one on 0 0.39. Uh, it's pretty close, but it doesn't exactly add up. So X seems to be okay. And that's 0 0.225, 4, 3, 2. Okay, and Y, let's take a look now. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, okay, so cool, this adds up. So uh, I wanna like add this back in, in a minute. So, um, if I think about this, we also had these kind of like cross-hatched lines in the original video. Let's make this full screen. Yeah, see these lines here. So let's see if we can recreate something like that. So right now we're just looking at this channel. Um, so I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to grab the stripes uh, 2 up. Okay. And let's just get rid of this for a minute and turn that down. Let's put the number on uh, 100 and the width from 0 0.75 and the rotate on 0 0.125. So we've got this diagonal. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. So you might be thinking, why did I just delete the um, pixel noise? Well, I'm gonna re-add it, but I need it to be at the bottom. So I'm gonna go to draw image and I'm gonna grab pixel noise I'm going to add that here. We overwrite everything. And now I'm going to say um, multiply. And as you can see, we get this uh, pretty cool look. I'm going to just turn this kind of down um, one minute. And actually, that's the grid. Let's just put this on add.
Uh, let's put it on average. I think that's a little bit more what I'm looking for. So now we're going to turn the grid down a little bit. We're going to turn the stripes down a little bit. This is just kind of tweaking it to get this look we want to go for. Great. So this looks pretty okay now. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to just composite it all back into that last part of the chain. So I'm just going to disconnect this. I'm going to go back to the original thing that we were looking at. And now I'm going to compose this back in. And for this, I'm going to just use um, add. And I'm going to turn the amount down. Let's turn it up a little bit. And voila. It looks like we've got something pretty close to the Splinter Cell Blacklist loading screen. So let me just make the size bigger so it's easier for you guys to see. And yeah, here we can see the hatch lines. It looks like there could be a little bit more. So I'm going to put the stripes here. I'm going to put it on, say, 150. Uh, let's say 200. Yeah, this is better. This is a, a way cooler look. So the last thing I want to do right now is just make it a little bit noisy. So I'm going to add noise, which is this effect. I'm going to turn off animated. I'm going to put it on subtract. And I'm going to just turn the amount up to about 0 0.2 something. So I could do this, but that's too much. And it's just to add this touch of grit. So there we go. It looks like we've recreated the loading screen from Splinter Cell Blacklist. I just did it with two textures now due to the uh, limited amount of time to make these videos. I hope this has been educational, informative, and hopefully will inspire you to try your own stuff out in cables. If you have any requests with Copycat, please feel free to post it in the comments below or to pop in on the forums and put it there as well. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Bye.